A Cypress user asked a question recently. The situation is like this. Imagine you have three panels, like accordions, and you can click on a panel to open it up, and the user wants to click on the accordion until he finds a button, and then click on the button. Now, he doesn't know where the button is. It could be in the first accordion, second, or third, or it could be on a tenth accordion. So the user is thinking, I'm going to click on each one, see if a button is there, which is conditional testing, and if I find the button, I'm going to click on it. Now, I'm going to show how to do this, and in this particular implementation, it's much, much simpler than click on in each panel, trying to discover where the button is. If we look at the markup, we can see that each heading, like section 1, section 2, and so on, are buttons with a class accordion. Under each button where there's accordion, there is a panel. And that's what has possibly a button. Now, the markup is static. That means it already is inside the DOM when the page loads. It's just, it's hidden. See, when you click on the accordion, it toggles a style of a display none or block. So it just becomes visible and invisible, but it's already there, which makes our task much, much simpler. So here's what we will do. Let's just query the DOM. Let's see which panel contains a button and we'll click on it. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can get the panel and then we're going to use the selector has. And now we can pass another selector that we're looking for. So I'm looking for a button. Now, this selector could be a specific using attributes, data attributes, classes, and so on. But in my case, it's just a button. So let's see if we find anything. And check this out. We do find the panel. It's just, it's invisible. Now, in order for us to open it up, we have to click on the button with class accordion right above it. So we found this panel. Now we're going to use the brief Cypress command to go to the sibling element right before it. And let's just confirm that we are on the button of class accordion. Should have class accordion. Okay, seems like it is there. And you know now the element is visible because the button is visible. And now we can click on it. And it opens our panel. So now we can get the button. Now let's now maybe use the text. So contains button. I'm here, right? And we can assert that it's visible. And we can click on it. Okay, well, it's a little bit unfortunate, right? That it actually pops an alert. So before we click on the button, let's get the application window. And then on that object, let's stop the method alert. And let's give it an Alice alert, for example. Okay, so now we can see when we clicked, it actually calls our stub. Let's confirm how it was called. We're going to get our Alice stub using get, And we'll say it should have been called once, for example. Perfect. So if your markup is static, you can find elements with other elements inside by using the selector colon has.